Hello, and welcome back to Siberia 3. This guy's dying, and we need to find his medicine. But I did not explore everything I needed to in this, uh, this shop, so we should do that. Starting by taking this cup again. Because, yeah, as I thought, it loaded back after we've talked to him, but before I've done anything. So, no I just want to, sight. like, no look at everything again, sight. and probably talk to him again. Still can't look at whatever this is. Oh man, you can look. Oh my god, you can look very far up. For seemingly no reason. You can't use... Wait, no, no, okay. I, that's uh, I used the, the arrow keys. I was thinking, maybe you can use the arrow keys to, like, shift the camera. You can't. That's just for walking as well, if you want to walk with arrow keys. What about the num... numpad? Nope, does nothing. Alright, too bad. Let's leave again. So, you would. <coughs> Was that a valve on the back of his his I chair? Just leave him like that. It had like a valve on it. Okay, let's talk to him again. Oh, apparently I have to walk around. All right. My heart. I need my medication <sighs> quickly. So convincing. <coughs> Such a convincing performance. From the guy that does like 80% of your voices. Interesting. So I'm I'm assuming it's gonna be in here, because why else would you be able to open everything? Or wasn't it like in the bathroom? Wouldn't it normally be in the bathroom? A prototype for the clinic aviary? I don't know. Just see if I can look at anything else. Oh, ni nice nice uh, clock hand there. Slightly clipping into the clock, I I think depending on the angle that you're looking at or looking from great yeah just look Make at it yourself right at home <laughs> don't mind me i just own the place you're fine also if your heart medicine is in the fucking drawer like right next to you then yeah i can just play with it then you should just be able to reach over and grab it yourself. So I'm assuming it's not in the drawer and it's like somewhere behind here. Oh my god, there's so much to do. T. Oh, I see. You can open that up. Huh? Oh, that's the glass. When is tea time then? Wait, are all the clocks? No, like none of them are the same time. I guess this one is. Yeah, I guess most of them are, but not like this one. But most of them are like, what is that, 225? Or is that going to 4? Is that 325 or 225? Let's just try... I see, you have to do that, but that doesn't help with the, the hour clock. You'd think if you spin this a, w uh, a lap around, or a revolution, it would, like, move this one as well, but I guess not. So, let's try... that, and... wait, so is it... oh, this is, like, not accurate at all. Well, maybe we're just setting it to, to 12, so it's like the cuckoo pops out. That would make sense. Nope, tea. I guess not. I don't know when tea time is. Well, tea. I guess I corrected the time. That's about it. Yeah, that seems to be about the same. All that clattering must get really tiring after a while. At least if they're out of sync. Well, let's let us check in the drawers cuz I don't think it's going to be here. There's no point. There's no point. Can I just leave them open? Wait, so I can like check them like this? That could do him more harm than good. That maybe we want that. That could do him more harm than good. I'm up for that. Nothing that could help him. There's no point. Yeah, we can just open them one by Nothing one. Nothing that could help him. No way. Club him. Hammer him. No medication. No medication. 
Oh, no! Shit. Damn it. Oh, fucking hell. God damn it. I wanted to look at it. Oh, man. Should I just load? Fuck it. I guess... Never mind. I just fucking hate that you can do that. Why default to take when there's a look option? Just default to look, because that's the one you can't do later on. It's... Fuck, I hate that. I really hate that. I just want to, like, click on stuff. And then you end up taking it, because... There's only like 1% of the things that you can click on that actually have more than one thing to do. Oh my god, that's bright. I don't have my like flux on in this game and normally my monitor's a lot like more orange. And yeah, we can read it because I can't read this. That's good. Dr. I. Samiatin. Oh, it's him. MD Tunguskaya, Faculty of Medicine. Accredited Specialist in Labor, Health, and Safety Medicine. Valsenbor Clinic. Date, March 8th. Dot dot dot. Why, though? Why dot dot dot? General Practitioner. Prescriptions. Two vials of... Spironolarone. Spironolarone. Okay. Three boxes of... Lassie Lactide. Or something. Recommendations. Capsules take daily, preferably at tea time. Dr. Samiatine. I see. Okay. Well, and it smelled like tea, so I guess the... It really might be in the clock, his medication. For some reason. Why would it be? That but maybe it is. Harm than good. I guess we can do something like... Hello? 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 The game is softlocked. Oh, God. Great. Fantastic! I broke the game. Yeah, it's broken. I can't interact with anything because it thinks I'm still locked in to the drawer. And I, I... Oh! No? Nope, that did nothing. And I can't look at anything. No buttons do anything. Space resets the camera, apparently. Well, I I can't even press escape. I actually have to just alt F4. Great game! Be right back! So, uh, about those game-breaking bugs, huh? That's great. Well, so I guess I get my wish, because now I can actually look at the prescription <laughs> in the drawer before we take it. So, no fantastic. Touch. But yeah, that's pretty fucking serious if there are more like that, where you can just get completely stuck and just be forced to completely alt F4 out of the game. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I chose to record with OBS, which again, records in a session instead of a process. <laughs> DX Story would completely like shut off the, uh, the recording and I would have to start a new one and then sync that up with the audio and all that stuff. And it would just be a, a more of a mess. So OBS, that was the main reason why I decided to use it. And aviary? I'm glad I did now. Because, yeah, things like that apparently happen. All that clattering must get really tiring after a while. And I'm just going to leave this right now because I still don't know when tea time or what is My considered heart. tea time. I need my medication. <sighs> Quickly. It was right here. A Look at it. And that's all we get. But that was all I wanted. And we read it. There we go. It's done. So I don't know why we read that. Do we need it? If we didn't have that, would she say, like, oh, I need to find the prescription to know how, like, the dosage? I don't know. Maybe that was completely unnecessary. Guy sure has a lot of clocks. What's this now? A leg. 
I really wish you could move the camera with the W, A's, and D keys. That would be so much nicer. Like, I can't move here anyway, so why not let me move the camera with W, A's, and D? But it looks like it isn't finished. Yeah, so we can't... I guess that's... They mean you can't just take it and run and leave the old man to die, because we actually need his help An old to, uh... Press clipping. Fix it, or complete it. Newspaper clipping. Time to read, I suppose. No, damn it, not that. Wait, what was that? Official pass, I see, yeah. Newspaper clipping, and we will read it. Wednesday, April 27th, 1989. N, is that like issue 142, or what does N mean? The Lake Gazette. Baranor slash local news. Incident at Baranor nuclear plant. Authorities downplay effects. And there are some silos, or whatever they're called. Tempest in a teapot was how the mayor of Baranur, Anatoly Mikolayev, described the incident yesterday that has worried the communities around the local nuclear power plant. I spoke personally with Viktor Rotislavovich. Rotislavovich. And then, like, editor's note, director of the plant. Immediately after I was informed by my constituents... Constituents? Okay. Complaining of noise. He stated, and I can assure you that he satisfactorily, satisfactorily, I don't even know if that's a word, answered all of my questions. In a word, all is well. Indeed, it would seem that a minor technical incident was at the origin of the alarm. A power test conducted on reactor number 3 at 1 to 3 a.m. caused planned radio, ra radiolysis of the cooling water, which in turn caused small inconsequential detonations that were sufficiently loud to lead nearby inhabitants to legitimately react. As for rumors of underground flooding and a fire raging in the facility, Mayor Mikolayev was both firm and reassuring. Spreading rumors like that is purely and simply anti-patriotic, he said pointedly. Given the importance of nuclear energy for the economy and industry in our beautiful region. Do you really think we would take an accident lightly if it were as serious as the rumors say? And the town councillor added, The reality is that the current systems in the plant are so sophisticated that an accident, and by accident I mean a major one, is statistically almost impossible. Almost. When we contacted him, oh god, oh man, that, that's a lot to read. Doctor, director! Rotislavovich concurred. He also confirmed that he had been in touch with the energy ministry, which, in the event, saw no reason to worry. Vladimir Mykoyov... What? What? Mykoyov. Mykoyov. Permanent correspondent. Record number of visitors for the Baranur Amusement Park. By 50,000! That's how many entry tickets have been bought for the Baranur Amusement Park since it opened last year. Pyotr Bulyakin. Wait. Who is Bulyakin? That's the mayor. Oh, it says so. Newly re-elected mayor of Valsenbor is delighted at the impact on the region that this... And then I guess she doesn't read anymore. Or maybe it's like, continue on page 7. Ice fishing drama. Oh god, the drama. Conclusions of the inquest. Inquest? Last winter it stirred emotions up all over. Leo Narishkine. Narishkine? Out on the lake to do... Huh? Out on the lake to do a little ice fishing with his little brother. Drowned tragically when he fell through the ice. The inquest has concluded that it was an accident, despite the testimony of the victim's little brother, who claimed that it was a fucking monster. And yeah, I mean, he did sound pretty trustworthy, but maybe he's crazy. Who knows? Hello? Can I, like, see stuff? I guess there's just nothing here. Right? Oh my god. Choppy, choppy, choppy. Always, always choppy. And yeah, just one more thing. And that's probably the boat. Yeah, that's the boat. Oh. Oh. I see. Okay. This is the crystal. 
Oh. Flick the switch. The crystal. And now that it's lit up. Fantastic. Yep, amazing. Fantastic. And let's just leave it burning and wasting electricity so we rack up the bills for this poor old man with a heart condition. Well, the medicine wasn't here, but again, I don't know how you... How can you know when tea time a is? If it's not noon, and it's not like 3 p.m., then how the fuck do you know? And yeah, most of these clocks are pretty, like, split. It seems most of them show 225 or whatever that is, but not all of them. And I don't know how, how can you possibly know what time we need to set this at. Hey, look, it's 12 o'clock. Tea. Oh, you can, like, do it quicker, I think. Tea. If you just, like... Ah, uh, no. I thought if you just flicked it a tiny bit, it would, like, snap to the next one. But it kind of does, but it's a bit inconsistent. Oh, what the hell is that doing? Wait. Am I supposed to... Like, leave it there and then wait for it to hit noon so it, like, actually rings? Well, I guess now my test is, like, pointless. Because, yeah, I was thinking, like, that. Is it gonna move? It moved, right? Like, it actually moved, but why did it move? Does it actually move based on the minutes of playtime? Do you have to just wait here for five minutes? That would be a shitty puzzle, if, if so. I just don't understand, like... Oh wait, do I place the cup here? Oh, I place the cup! Okay. And now we set it to noon? Apparently not. And again, the thing only said tea time, right? Not when tea time was. It doesn't say anything in... in Russian that I can, like, make out. Preferably at tea time. What is tea time? Is that a thing I don't, just don't know? Like, is there a specific time of the day that's just known as tea time? Because I have, I have no fucking idea. Well, guess we'll just try... Oh yeah, it did move again. How the fuck do you control that? Apparently, tea time is 5 p.m. Apparently. How are you supposed to fucking know that? That's honestly kind of shitty. Like, sure, if that's a, a universal thing, or maybe it's just like a British thing, I don't know, and it's like 5 p.m. is generally known as the tea time, you still have to assume that there are people who will play your fucking game that don't know that 5 p.m. is the official tea time TM. That's honestly just shitty. I think that's a stupid puzzle. Because I had no fucking idea. I wouldn't drink tea at 5 p.m. I drink tea in the evening or the morning. <coughs> oh, man. Yeah, that, that actually upsets me a little bit. Observe. Oh, no. I forgot to observe the cup, like, beforehand. Steiner's medication. I have to take it to him fast. Yeah, so I guess I forgot to do that. I could have... Oh, hey, look, physics. Nice smoke. Or, uh, steam, rather. But, yeah. And it doesn't even look like it's full. I guess that's... Yeah, it's... It just looks kind of weird. But, yeah, I didn't look at it when it was empty. I could have done that, so we missed out on... Look at me. Oh. A line, but that's fine. Are you satisfied? I just can't handle any aggravation anymore. I am very satisfied. You were kind of a fucking dick yes. to me. My medication. My God. My heart. 
And I that's it. That's the loop. My medication. <sighs> Quickly. <coughs> All right. Fine. Fine. Take it. <sighs> Thank you for your precious help, my dearest Miss Walker. I'm afraid I may have judged you somewhat hastily. Well, I also was Don't kind of a dick. Mr. Steiner. Tell me about the prosthesis. I need to take it back to Kirk very quickly. Wait, if, of course, she got the, the necklace back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even remember that happening. I just have a few small adjustments to make. It involves also, he said, yeah, 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 even though he's saying, yeah, ja, like German. Will it take long? I'm sorry to insist, but I also have to give a hand to those unfortunate yukels. I need to help them get across the lake with their herd There's of There's like a part that he doesn't so have that I need to get. Once the mechanical leg is at last ready, I can go to the clinic and bring back young Kirk to you. That way you only have to worry about what happens to the other Yukols. That would be great, but... Um... Why are you helping me? Could be like, let's just see if he says something. If we just sit here. Well, also... Yeah, exactly. I, I noticed that on some of the, uh, the choices you get, there was like a dot 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 thing here. And I wonder if that's like some sort of time limit. So if you don't pick a choice what within the think? time limit, it would just like, you would say nothing. And that's like essentially another choice. So that would be really interesting to try on some of those in the future. But, um, like, again, it's kind of unclear I'm waiting, what, Miss Walker. shut up, what, what you'll say. Cause she could be saying this in a super snarky, like sarcastic way. Like she's really not trusting him. Like, why would you be helping me? But if it's just Answer, that's please, Fraulein. I'm listening. I'm talking, but you're not listening. But like she could say it just Oh, I appreciate the offer. That sounds great, but why would you go so far to well, help me? So I don't know. I guess I'll say this. That's so nice of you, Mr. Oh, Steiner. great. Okay, that's what I wanted this? to say. Uh I wasn't extremely nice to you earlier. And also the way the Yukols are treated by the other townsfolk here in my own town. Also, that was some quick working heart medicine. So I want to just help one gulp and all your problems go away. In no way absolutely certain they should be crossing the lake. You want to talk about everything that Achievement Valsenborg Gate. Are you serious? You about the story, miss? It's actually called Valsenborg Gate. The authorities have always done everything. You can't be fucking serious. Terrible business. Absolutely quiet. I read the ship's log that Captain Obo wrote at the time. Oh fuck! Tell me exactly what happened there, Mister Steiner. What? No. It has become a true hell on earth. Shit! What Since if you don't do the that then? Ostrich migration. Oh no. Please join me downstairs for a moment, Miss Walker. I'll I already you exactly checked your model I mean. and. The newspaper clipping, so... I don't know, can I now look at this thing? I cannot, it's still gone, or nothing. We can't look at the drawers anymore, can I just leave? Let me just leave. Steiner wanted to show me something. Okay. I should go back and see him first. But man! Yeah, that was like... It sort of cut in a weird way, so it's like, if you haven't checked the logbook, I guess you... Hello? I guess you would have something different to say there. Oh, I didn't see this before. Was this here before? Maybe he just like put it right there right now. Oh. Okay, I guess he would tell me, go grab the film reel from the box over there. Tools that would have suited Hans. Well, Hans is fucking dead. Actually, I guess we don't know that. Uh, hold on, let's talk to him first. Right after I just check. Yeah, nothing else. Look just next to the films there, Miss Walker. You should find a film on Baranor. Uh, look next to the films? When you found the old film reel, run it through the spool on the projector. He just read the line wrong. I turned on the projector for you. Find the film reel and run it through the machine, if you may. Shouldn't you be the one that, like, can find that? Because it's your fucking basement. You know where things are. Why would you, like... Invite someone in and then tell them to go find a thing that is somewhere in your basement when you probably know where you're storing things. Look just next to the films there, Mr. All right, all right. You should find the film on Fine. 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 The film's missing. 
But first, observe. Baranor. Baranor. And the squid is on there. RTV. All right, movie time. Hey, I know that guy. Oh my god. Automatons. That is pretty terrifying. Automatons look just like my friend Oscar. I guess people put that statue up in the square in their honor. Honor? Yeah. Okay. Truly magnificent pieces, Nishvar. The oh my god, <laughs> German is really bad. Can't really say anything because my German pronunciation is shit too, but still. Nishvar? Um, that is not really how boats move, I feel. So Baranor suffered the ravages of a nuclear accident. But according to that film, the automatons you designed with hands should have helped save lots of lives, right? I'm afraid that's not how things went. Because of Captain Opal. Abandoned everyone! Ah! That must be Sarah. Please come this way, Miss Please Walker. Please come this I'll way. Alright, well, that was movie time. I'm gonna end it here for today. I feel like I wanted to say something about all this, but... I guess that can wait until next time. Because I can't remember it right now. So, there we go. Next time, let's see if I can remember. And then we'll meet Sarah and... Probably... I don't even know. Go back to the Yukols. Maybe we will be the ones taking the leg to Kirk. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.